Hi! What are the best espresso machine under 500 on the market today? We have researched some of the best espresso machine under 500 to help you. We also analyzed both user and professional reviews to make sure you buy great product. Number 5. To begin the descaling process, turn the machine on. While you're waiting for the machine to heat up, completely empty the water tank. Pour one dose of DeLonghi descaling fluid into the empty water tank. Then fill the tank with fresh water and allow the solution to mix. Once mixed, place the water tank back onto the machine. Place an empty container with a minimum capacity of 50 ounces under the steam wand and boiler outlet. When the green OK light is on, turn the dial to the coffee hot water position and allow the solution to flow through the machine and exit from the boiler outlet. After approximately 10 seconds, turn the steam dial to on to allow the solution to flow through the steam wand. Wait an additional 10 seconds and then turn the dial back to the off position. Let the machine rest for 15 minutes. Then continue this process periodically until the water tank is empty. You will not need to let the machine rest 15 minutes again. Once the tank is empty, you will want to ensure that the solution has been properly flushed through the machine. Fill the water tank with fresh water. Do not add descaling fluid this time. Simply empty and replace your container under the steam wand and boiler outlet. When the green OK light is on, turn the dial to the coffee hot water position and allow the water to flow through the machine and exit from the boiler outlet. After approximately 10 seconds, turn the steam dial to on to allow the water to flow through the steam wand. Wait an additional 10 seconds and then turn the dial back to the off position. For best results, cycle through two full water tanks of fresh water. Your machine is now ready for use.
This is the Cuisinart Manual Espresso Maker. Back here we have our removable reservoir. You can hold this like this so that you can carry it to the sink and fill it to the max fill line. Then you mount it back on the back of the machine. Up here is where you can put your coffee cups to keep them warm you know, while you're making your espresso. And some of the things that come with your espresso maker are the coffee filters. This large one here is for when you make two cups of espresso at one time. This is the one that you use for one cup. And this one here is special. This is the one that you use when you're making, um, using the pods. This is your coffee scoop. And on the back here, this is your tamper. This is where you press down um, to tamp the coffee before you make it. These filters go right into the port filter holder. Like I said, one, each one depending on what type of espresso and how much espresso you're making. And then also the one for the um, pod holder. Additionally, we give you a really nice stainless steel um, cup so that you can froth your milk when you're making lattes or cappuccinos. Um, we're going to put this right on here. I'm going to mount it inside and lock it into place. And it's really great too because when you remove this after your coffee is done, you slide this forward and you can dump your coffee out and the filter stays inside. This is your removable drip tray and cover. So if you have any drips or spills, it goes right in there. And these are the controls, the power on button. This is the button you use to do steaming. This is also tells you that your um, coffee maker is ready to um, make espresso. And you just do it manually by turning this knob. So there you have it. Along with the wand, which is a commercial quality wand, this is what you do um, use to make your um, lattes and frothing your milk. And there you have it, have it, the Cuisinart Manual Espresso Maker. And these are our editor ratings for this product. white on a Gaja Classic Pro. This is the newest model with a manual steam wand. So also what I'm going to be using today, uh, a Barazza Sete 270 grinder. Um, really like this grinder. Nice fluffy grind. The coffee I'll be using, Maroma's Orfea. It's a nice Italian style bean blend. Makes a lot of crema. So let's go ahead and get started. So you always want to leave your portafilter locked in so it's warm. So I've got that. I'm going to take that. Now I've already dialed in my coffee and I know to get about 17 grams, it's four seconds on the Sete 270, so I'll just press the button there. Really like this grinder, nice fluffy grinds there. Um, I'm gonna use a jack leveler to uh, compress and level out my coffee. Just lay that in there and spin that. Really like the jack here. It's got an adjustable, easily adjustable depth. Very nice, easy to use, and you can see makes a really nice level uh, compression of the coffee there. So we'll lock that in. I'm using a, yeah, it's about a six ounce cup here. So I'm gonna do a double shot right into there, again with a 17 gram. So to get my shot going, I'm just gonna press the brew button there. And we'll have a look at this come. And I'm looking for two ounces, that's about 60 milliliters in my cup. And you see that really nice, lovely crema dripping out there nicely. And take a look at that stuff. This shot's going to run about oh, 20, 25 seconds here. And that should be good there. So right from there, I'm going to turn my steam on right here. 
It takes about 45 seconds for it to get up to steam temperature. So while that's heating up, I'm going to use some nice whole milk. I like the whole milk for its sweet, creamy flavor. I'm using a Rattleware Latte Art Pitcher here. Now, I'm not going to pour any art on this. And I know that for my purposes in this drink, I need to go about, oh, just a half an inch or so below where the spout starts. Um, so here we go. There's our nice espresso. Oh, look at that crema. That really makes nice crema. The aroma's Orphea. Um, now, a little trick with this, what you can do is try and hit the steam on, or start steaming before the actual steam-ready light comes on here. That'll keep the heating element on, maybe give you a little bit more steam power. You don't have to do that. Um, one thing you do want to do is definitely always purge your wand. Now, the light just came on. It's ready. So I'm going to purge any moisture out of the wand there. Got that out. Then I'm going to put the tip just below the surface of the milk here and turn my steam on. Now the tip position, that's going to help get a little air in. What I'm going to do is keep adding air until the outside of the pitcher just starts to warm. So I'm maybe just lowering the pitcher a little bit as the milk expands there. Pitcher is just starting to get warm, so I'm going to lower that tip down. Now I'm just going to continue heating the milk without adding more air, and I like that nice roll that's happening there. Until the outside of the pitcher is just too hot to hold, that's about 140 Fahrenheit. That's what I like. Then we're going to wipe the wand. Always purge your wand after steaming. And I'll shut my steam off in a minute. We're going to come back, cool down the boiler. I'll show you how to do that. So there's our milk. And if you've got any excess air bubbles you don't want in that, you just give it a few taps and swirls. And what you're looking for is something that looks a little bit like latex paint in a can. It's got that nice shiny surface. So from there, I'm just going to do a pour. Now again, I'm not going to do any art here. I'm going to pour that right in the center. And then just let a little bit of that foam on top. And there you go. A nice, beautiful, flat white. Let me take a taste here. Mm, that's delicious. So now you want to cool down the boiler. So I've got another steaming pitcher here. You could do it right into the drip tray if you want. So what I'm going to do, I already turned my steam off. Now I'm just going to open the steam wand and turn on the brew switch until I get a stream of water coming out of the steam wand, full stream. Just like that. And that just cooled down, refilled my boiler. And that's it. Just give everything a little wipe down. So again, nice, beautiful, flat white there with a double shot of espresso. Again, I was using the Maromas Orphea Barazze Sete 270 and the new Gaja Classic Pro with the manual steam wand. And these are our editor ratings for this product.
and their ratings for this product.